gotta say this, but it's an important question. Who hurt you people? Who hurt the the minority? And, and this is not including trans people who really believe, you know, who are the good guys. I'm talking about the people in the trans community or anywhere outside of it who are the bullies, the doxers, the harassers. I'm talking about those people. So don't mistake me for being transphobic or anything like that. But I gotta ask, who hurt you in your lives? Who, who have went out their way to make your lives living hell are you fatherless are you parentless are you an orphan are you just an evil fucked up person like you're like like you're like the movie um just kevin <laughs> you know it's just like it just it's, it's, it's scoff peek at me we harassed the vtuber who was probably about 95.5 percent of people's first vtuber experience off the internet she retiring Though bombs, you know, you know, bombs never really gave a real reason why she's retiring, but people have assumed this is like the main contributor of it. And this is just stepping outside of Hogwarts Legacy. This is just her being harassed constantly from day in, from day out, from both bullies and doxxers to even some of her own, even some like some people in the own VTuber community who are probably denouncing her and not even siding with her, which is just terrible. And I know that. Hogwarts Legacy may whether played a big or small role in, in all of this, I don't really know. But this is still wrong. She still got harassed. She still got treated just as horrible. And the problem with me is there's no accountability behind it. There's no one just simply accepting responsibility. To me, I put it as, I put it like a reply, saying that we must go to war with this, because it's just. I, I believe that there should be action behind this. There should be hate with this. I'm not talking about hate against trans people, as I mentioned. I'm not transphobic, but I want the people who are who are causing this, the bullies, the doxers, the harassers. I want them. I want those sociopathic sons of bitches mutilated. If I'm being honest, <laughs> they don't deserve life. They deserve the sole of my boot, my shit kickers. Because this is because the question is again, who hurt you just enough to harass someone? You know, because let's be honest, you're on Twitter, which is one that's, that's, that's already granted you the skill of no lifer. If you have a Twitter account, I mean, I am a no lifer. I have a Twitter account. Two, why would you go out your way? No, no, scratch all that. The question is, tell me. The question is, what are you getting out of this? Are you going to bed sleeping peacefully at night that you just harass someone on the internet? Even though the internet's not above doxing people and showing their locations and where they live, where they work, who their friends and family are, and there's some psychopaths who are willing to skin you and your family alive just for the smile, just for the, the, the sickest pleasure. But again, why would you go out your way to do this? Like, what is the whole goal? What's the reason behind it? Is there any insight with it? Let's just, let's just bully someone into retiring or quitting off the internet. Then what? You're just gonna keep going? Like that shit just did not bother you? And these are probably the same motherfuckers who will get bullied themselves and then play victim when there's some retaliation or there's just some clapback. You know, it's like, oh, I'm the victim. It's like, you're not the victim. All I just see is a, is a pathetic piece of shit who can't even stand their own ground for five seconds. And, that, and, and to be honest, I don't give bullies, harassers, and doxers any simple, like, slight remorse, mercy, any sympathy or empathy. I, I don't feel nothing for them. I, I wish for the absolute worst for them. You know, I, I wish for uh, a limited suffering because they don't deserve the best in life. And this is funny because I'm pretty sure the demographic for these people are probably within, I say, 10 to probably 40 years old. Nah, I'm just kidding. Probably 30 years so. old. So it's pretty much between semi middle schoolers and college seniors who are just being these soulless pricks for no reason. And it's, and just like, how pathetic are you? Do you not carry any self esteem or do you not have any common sense? Are you that so sadly terminally online that you gotta go bully someone for? validation or some gratification if you will because it's not cute you know it makes you look horrible and the fact that people are still doing this today to this day it's not just peeking me we had the silver barrel drama you no know, last week a couple weeks ago and that pretty much wrapped up with iron mouse with those two basically just saying fuck you we're gonna play this game regardless 
you know, to the whole Hogwarts Legacy drama. And I wish Peek and me had the same level of, of backbone. Because honestly, I don't get why nowadays people have to conform to any agenda, any weird bias standing. Because it's, it's like the fucking uh, uh, Mr. Like the Incredibles thing. Either join us or go away. And I don't really believe that. I don't believe the pure thought of conforming just because it felt like some, because it felt like it's some pre-existing checkbox. Like on my channel, yes, I may openly say I support the LGB and the genders and all that shit, but that doesn't mean I'm completely siding with them, you know? I'm not gonna accommodate my content just to make sure every little person is happy with themselves. I, that's just not it. I'm gonna remain unfiltered, I'm gonna remain uncapped. If someone in the trans community is being a fucking dickhead, I'm gonna shit down their throat like I just ate Taco Bell. Same with skin color, same with sexuality. No one escapes from judgment. And I don't care if you're hiding behind some shield or get me canceled. It, after all, you are a person. I don't care what your orientation is. I will still flay you like a Roman, like a Roman emperor. But besides my own grave digging biases, it just hurts me a lot to see this keeps happening. It just bothers me that this continues to be a thing for no reason. I'm hoping that after the Pikmi drama just ends and she retires and she just goes away, I'm hoping that she can find solace and peace with her life. I'm hoping that she can start fresh all over again away from these psychopaths and these fucking losers who don't have a fucking life whatsoever, who, who just exists just to waste air, to waste my air. It's like, it's like Lotzer God, you, you are just a waste of space. You are wasting precious oxygen that someone else most deservingly could have had. You guys are just garbage. <laughs> Absolute shit on my heel that I can't scrape off with sandpaper. Your lives are worth as much as a right winger in a liberal community. Not very much. You have no property in this world. You exist just to talk so much shit. And then when you're on the end of the head in the fire, you play victim and hide behind your little circle groups. Your little so, you know, your little so circle circle jerks. So circle circle jerks. Your own little self-rounding gratification circle jerks. Only believing that you're in some deep echo chamber. In reality, you're only believing the shit that you, that you made yourself, that you forced yourself to believe. And let's be honest, half the people who commit these bullying for internet clout or thinking they're fighting the good fight, they don't but they don't practice what they preach. They're only doing this to spark more drama or hell, just to get clout from this, to get some level of recognition. In reality, you're just clout chasers, you're just a shadow. You're gonna fall into irrelevancy, and I say a couple of years, maybe a month or so. And after that point, you should be nothing but a stain on the internet. Thanks for your digital footprint, asshole. People are going to remember you as the soulless amalgamation that you really are and reveal to you that you are not the person that you think you are. You're not some moral, you're not some bastion of hope or goodwill. You are just a person who wants to suck up any joy from the platform and remind people how terrible Twitter could be. What a waste of an absolute space you are. I'm sorry that your parents, if you had any, were probably rolling in their beds or graves saying how much of a disappointment you are. But it's okay. I'm pretty sure you can make a little sad call out post on Twitter saying that you're some victimhood. It's only natural to for you to fall in your usual steps like a creature of habit. <laughs> but that's gonna be it for today. I just wanted to share my little sociopathic thoughts about Pika Me and everything that's going on. I know my friends said I shouldn't cover it, but I just had to. I wanted to get my hands dirty for a little bit. I wanted to express my deep content and hatred for this and again i'm not being transphobic but i'm just simply stating facts i'm simply stating what's happening and who's behind all of this i'm not causing any problems i'm only just stating th things but as this video ends i have been your lovely hustle the most and until next time i have bid you adieu